Saints game yesterday going to help you prepare your team for the South Man, I, I got a chance to watch a lot of football this weekend. Um, it's good. It's always good to always good to, good to get a chance to watch some ball. You know, certainly we're uh, taking advantage of playing on Thursday. It gave the players a couple of days off. Staff was off Saturday. But I was in there grinding away yesterday, so I'm not sure that I quite understand your question. Well, they they played a 7-1 and one team, got crushed by a 1-7 team. So, <laughs> you know, it kind of helps maybe that you got to play every game with the same amount of focus. Well, I don't. I think you're spot on. I mean, I think that uh, if you're referencing South Alabama, yeah. uh, well, I think um, you know. It, reality is, when you turn on the tape and you watch South Alabama, you don't see that record. I mean, you see uh, explosive skill player, certainly one of the best runners in the league, big, tall, long, athletic outside can create some matchup issues for you if you dedicate enough people to the run. Uh, and then defensively, I mean. Uh, some of the better, more explosive front players uh, in our conference. Difficult to block, create issues for you. Uh, you can see that. You can you see it in every game that they played. Um, and certainly they're long and athletic in the back end, too, can cover you. So this is not your typical. I don't think the record reflects uh, what we're walking into here. Certainly on the road at their place uh, where they've had some success, um, you know, so we, we it's about us having a great week of prep and we got matchup issues and we're gonna have to have a really good plan. We gotta go out and execute the plan. So uh, if that's what you're referencing, I think you're spot on here. You guys have had some some games where you've been heavily favored and having some issues and all that. So what have they done to keep that focus during the week? You know, battles like this one? Yeah, I think we've um we I think these these guys have really bought into the routine, if that makes sense. I think that they uh, understand the value of preparation, how that can create, it can separate them from the opponent, uh, the detail, uh, the routine of uh, their, whatever their position requires of them. You know, from a film study, um, going out and committing to make an improvement fundamentally, uh, and then you know, I think we've just done a really good job of having a good plan focusing on the things that are going to affect the game, uh, being really technical in our approach. Uh, we got lots of players that uh, have continued to improve. You know, So uh, we have executed and played well on the road. I think you're right. And I think a lot of it just has to do with the maturity of our team and being in the second year. Zion, Coach, I know he doesn't maybe make as many sacks and all sure. the things that a lot of the people are around him to play but but he's obviously real mainstay for him. Yeah, he's um Zion, if you just watch the tape, I mean he's difficult to block. He's got elite quickness. Uh, I think he's really improved fundamentally in the second year. Uh it's good to have him healthy, you know. Last year played a little bit nicked up and banged up at times, but he's a great competitor and uh, certainly he affects the quarterback, you know. Uh, and he creates issues for the other team each and every week. So we've been able to play more players, too, and he's benefited from that. He's fresher, uh, therefore you see a little bit better player. You know, I think overall defensively, Zion's a part of a defensive front group that has new pieces to the puzzle. You know, with the players that we signed, the players that have developed in year two, uh, whether that's Jaquan Nelson, Kendall Wilkerson, uh, Andre Jones, I mean, there's a number of players there that really have done a great job. And Zion's kind of a tone setter. His motor and effort uh, and technique, you know, he certainly has, has been a tone setter for us. Sure. Yeah. Well, I think it was uh, – Manak was banged up, so we played Zion in two positions in the game. So um, – you know that that was a re that was an adjustment we made that was a result of that. But we'll get Manak back this week, um, so we'll be back to our normal rotation. But you know, there's positives to Manak being out. You know, I think we created opportunities for Kendall Jaquan Nelson in particular. I thought had his best game of the season. He continues to mature, continues to be a better practice player, um, and that's you know. 
Uh, he's in his first of three years with us here. So you can see, you know, he got here June the 1st. I think he's he's starting to get it, and uh, it's translating on, on the field on game day. Well, I think more than anything, um, you benefit from – you, you know, giving players a break, you know, a little bit of a mental break. Um, I know talking to a lot of our players, they spent time together. They watched college football, NFL football the last couple of days. Uh, playing on these unique in-game, in-week games has been – it's been a positive for our team so far this year, you know. And I think we benefited from the um, extra time. And that that's not always necessarily – grind mode where you're practicing and watching film the entire time. I think it's just space out the work. Uh, I think our kids have been mature enough, and we just challenge them, hey, when we hit the button and say go, you go, you know, and then we'll manage the workload. And, and I think we've had a really good plan, and I think our players have executed that plan well. Well, those are all great hypothetical questions, you know. Um, and I think, I think what you're saying is is something that we're all aware of, but it can't be part of. Uh, it's an external factor that can't be part of how we think or operate, if that makes sense. But uh, there's no question that everyone, you know, gets excited and that creates positive energy for the program, for the university, for the athletic department. Um, but in reality. All that matters is so you continue to play well, continue to improve, find ways to win games. You know, it's college football. It's November. Um, you see unique things happen each and every week. So we've got to be prepared to play. Uh, and one of the reasons we've had success playing well and improving is that we've prepared the right way. So, um, you know, what happens in the end will be a product of the work that we do between now and then. So we're going to work. We're going to focus on the work. And not necessarily the result. Do you have any I do not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's uh, there may be some someone in our league maybe that feels like that. I don't know who votes in our league and who doesn't. I certainly don't have a vote, so I'm a rookie at this. So having 14 guys that caught passes. I know some of them yeah. are running backs. What does that do for you moving forward and just? And sure. And options. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's great for morale is what I would tell you. You know, I've been, I was a receiver coach for a handful of years and uh, certainly had coached tight ends for three years. So um, I think it's good for morale in that, hey, be prepared when you get your opportunity. You know, not I, I promise you all those guys didn't expect – uh, maybe for us to have that amount of production from that amount of players. Uh, but they practiced the right way. We were prepared, and certainly Levi was on top of his game uh, and distributed the ball to the right people at the right time. So, um, you know, it's one of the areas that we worked really hard on in the open day. It was one of the areas specific on offense that we felt like we needed to make improvement. Um, and then I don't know that it necessarily showed up in the Texas State game because of the – the unique coverage concepts that they ran. Uh, but we, we were lights out, and uh, I think it was one of the reasons we had success. We kept them off balance. Uh, we made the right decision. A lot of those were running plays, you know, where the ball's coming out. So uh, Levi was on point, and certainly the skilled players created separation. They got open, uh, and they made plays when they had a chance to make them. You know, I, I would uh, agree with you in that it was something different about it. I mean, he was ready to go, and he was confident, decisive, um, very comfortable with the plan, uh, and very comfortable with what they were doing. I mean, he, he I agree with you. It, it was a little different, even the coach's copy. So, um, you know, the guy played the best game since I've been here, and you know, he's just a product of his work. I mean, nobody works like that kid does. And I think 
Uh, he's a product of his work. It's that simple. You know, the guy just he just shows up and he's looking for any and every way to improve. It really means a lot to him to do his job for the team, you know. And I think anytime maybe we don't have success or uh, we have to punt the ball or we don't get uh, touchdowns in the red zone, you know, he looks in the mirror first and uh, certainly comes back and attacks it uh, at the next opportunity. So hopefully we'll continue to get that type of play out of him going forward. Yeah, he is day to day. Uh, his workload is going to increase this this week. Um, you know, still don't anticipate him being prepared for this game, uh, but I think the amount of work that he'll be doing will increase uh, going forward. So, outside of him, we're we're a relatively healthy team. Um, you know, we got the typical stuff, mostly contact related type of stuff. Um, not a lot of soft tissue issues, which I think is a um, benefactor of Coach Hockey, Coach Stitch, Coach Richards, uh, and the and the plan that we've executed so far up until this point. If you were preparing against your team right now, that last game, but how to, is, that, is that a game, a little bit of a game changer in terms of other coaches <laughs> kind of eye opening for other coaches the way y'all how effective and explosive you were in the past game. Well, I don't – yeah, I mean, I, I think the execution probably. I think um, – I don't know. The plays were much different. I think the execution level is much more – I mean, we, we struck – when we had a chances to strike, we – you know, we hit we hit the guys that were open, you know. And certainly there were a handful of other plays that could have went our way too, you know. So, um, you know – it is what it is. I think that's a product that we do have balance. You know, that's who we want to be is we want to be a balanced operation. Um, they were very pressure oriented, so we felt like we needed to keep them off balance. And we did, you know, that was the plan. Um, and Levi was sharp as a tack. So I hope we can continue to throw and catch it that way in the future. Yeah, Chris is a redshirt freshman. You know, we redshirted him last year. He played in four games, and he was terrific even last year. You know, he's got great instincts. Um, you know, I think he's a guy who's got a tremendous attitude, very positive energy. You know, if you're around the guy, he's just a guy you enjoy being around. Uh, and he is a diligent player. I mean, he, he's very – he's always – trying to do the right thing you know he's done really well in school here I mean he's a class act off the field um, and he has gotten it he has gotten better in particular when Trey got banged up he kind of ramped it up a little bit you know and, and he's played well <clears throat> so I'm proud of Chris and he's just getting started so he's gonna be fun to watch Desk glow. Cameron Solomon. Oh yeah, I got you. I thought he had some. Um, Man. Plays. Yeah, Cam Solomon has been. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, Cam Solomon has been outstanding. He's a. Um, he's a mature guy. You know exactly what you're going to get from the guy. He's consistent. You know, he kind of he's kind of a guy who's mature beyond his years, if that makes sense. He's been that way since he got here. He's he's an impressive young person, and he plays that way. But I've been impressed with him, and we roll those guys in the back end. They've all they've all had tremendous success so far. Coach Tony's done a great job with those guys. If you look at the body of work of that group, it's been very impressive. 
<coughs> All right, guys. Thank y'all.